do a video, a cooking video. You can use your canner for something besides canning. This is a canner that I got at a garage sale. It's a 16 quart Presto. I always start it up and get it warm because the gasket, I don't know why, but it like sh it shrinks when it's cold. It's because it's old, I guess. Um, I have replacement gaskets that I will use if I need them. But as long as I can warm it up and stretch it back out, I'm going to do that. Um, my dog, he is 16 years old. He's a mutt that we rescued. He's a good boy. Um, <clears throat> I'd say within the last six months, he's developed something where he, he just can't eat dog food hard or the soft can stuff. So, what I do for him is I cook chicken and I mix it with rice for him. Um, I can get 20 pounds of leg quarters for $11.80. Find that it's actually cheaper than buying the canned dog food that you buy at the um, at the grocery store or wherever you can buy it. Um, and the bonus is that um, the family can get a, a meal or two out of it also. So I just wanted to show you how I do that. Um, just cut these open. Place them down into the warm water. Put it one bag. Two bag. I do blood and all. I don't rinse off the chicken or anything like that um, because oh, and there's a little bit of water in the bottom. Um, and it'll, more water, water will come out of the, the chicken. Got a little bleach water here. Um, when it's cooking, just put that on high. I have some leftover celery. Uh, my sister just got married. And we made, I don't know, 50 pounds of potato salad. So I have some leftover celery. I'm going to put that in there. Um, because this also makes the chicken stop when it's cooking. So I'm just going to quarter a, uh, a couple onions. You don't have to be fancy here. You can even leave on the skins. I'm going to just put them in there. This is just, just for flavoring for the stock. starts to steam really well, I will uh, place the weight on it and then fiddle with it and keep it around 10 pounds pressure. I usually cook it for about an hour. I mean, I don't have to really cook it for an hour because I'm not canning it. Uh, I just like how it um, actually starts to break down the cartilage and the skin. Gets the, I guess it's co collagen out of it. Um, which makes the um, the stock really rich, real good, rich mouth feel. Because um, I use that, I can that up, and I use that to make gravies and soups and stuff like that. All right. Um, the next part is uh, deboning. Um, when I get to that, I'll show you, and hopefully, I can figure out how to edit all these together. All right, it's done cooking. <clears throat> what I'm going to do next is pull the chicken out, and I'll put it in these bowls. I'll just line it around, and then what I do is, is I put it in cold water, just kind of let it sit there in the bath, and it cools faster. I have two pans. I'll do the same over here. Um, I guess the next part of the video, uh, I'll be making some gravy for dinner tonight. Um, Alright.
See you in a little bit. All right. There's all the chicken deboned. Um, and I'm getting ready to make some gravy. This right here is these bowls here. What I do is I put them in the fridge and then wait for the fat to solidify. And then here's a thing of fat here. I just take some off and put it in the pan. And now I'm going to get ready to make gravy. Get a little hot. I'm going to set you guys down here. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. Kind of make a basic roux. But that was my thicker. So what I'm going to do this, I'm going to keep cooking this until it gets, uh, starts changing color. It'll get like a, I don't know, like almost a brown, less than a brown. It'll start to smell nutty, and then that's when I'll add the stock and uh, make the gravy. When I get to that point, I'll show you. All right, the color's about where I like it. It's starting to smell a little nutty. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh cracked black. I'm going to add it to the same oil part because it kind of brings out the, the flavor more. And then... Thicken up already. That should pick up pretty good. When the rice is done, I'll show you the end product. Okay, it's all done cooking. All that's left to do a little gravy right there. Alright, you guys have a good one.